Hello, I'm Zoe from Words of Grassmere and I'm here to tell you about two very special people and introduce you to my winter rucksack of rhymes. So, to get us started, let's say hello. And to do that, I normally sing our hello song and it goes like this. Hello everyone, hello everyone, hello everyone, it's good to see you here. Let's do your name. Hello, 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 it's good to see you here. Now I'm going to introduce you to two special people. This is Dorothy and this is William Wordsworth and they live in a little cottage called Dove Cottage a long, long, long time ago. In fact, they moved in 222 years ago and they moved in in winter on the 20th of December when it was oh, very cold and frosty and snowy and Dove Cottage might have looked a little bit like this. A picture of Dove Cottage in the snow. Oh, and you can still visit Dove Cottage these days. Now it's a museum of Wordsworth Grassmere. So we're going to be finding out about all the little creatures that are in my rucksack and we're going to be finding out about what winter adventures William and Dorothy used to go on. But first, let's say hello to them. So let's sing hello to Dorothy and then to William. Hello, children. Oh, hello, Dorothy. Shall we sing you the hello song? Hello, Dorothy. Hello, Dorothy. Hello, Dorothy. It's good to see you here. Hello. And now William. Hello, William. Oh, hello, children. <gasps> hello, William. Hello, William. Hello, William. It's good to see you here. Hello. <gasps> okay, it's time for me to tell you about them moving into the cottage a long, long time ago. So, William and Dorothy had walked a long way over from Yorkshire and they'd stayed in Kendal the night before they arrived at the cottage. They might have crunched their way up the path or down the lane to Dove Cottage. When they arrived, it was 4.30 in the afternoon. It would have been dark and it may have been snowing or frosty on the ground. Because in the past, in the Georgian era when they lived, winters were much colder. The local lakes, Rydal and Grasmere, used to freeze over. And sometimes it could be exciting winter activities like ice skating and that. So... When they arrived into Dove Cottage, there was just a few glowing embers in the fire that they could have warmed their hands on. Shall we do some warming our hands? Let's pretend that there's a fire in the grate and we're warming our hands on that coal, that wood on the fire. Oh yes, very nice. And the reason that someone had lit a fire is that their neighbour, Molly Fisher, had been coming in for two weeks, getting the house ready for them. So over the next few days, Molly and Dorothy were very busy getting the house ready to be lived in. They were cleaning it and Dorothy was sorting out furniture and things like that. But, oh dear, William wasn't very helpful. In fact, in the past, men like William didn't help very much with the, with the work around the house, not like these days. So, do you know what he was doing while Dorothy was busy cleaning and getting the house ready? wrote a letter to a friend and in the letter he said I have procured a pair of skates and mean to give my body to the wind and by that he meant that he bought himself some ice skates and he was going to go ice skating off all over and ice skating on the lake oh quite fun and he would have written this letter not with a biro or a pencil but with a quill pen that he dipped in ink. And so William was busy writing these letters and Dorothy was ready getting their house ready. And a little bit later, William wrote an enormous poem about his life called The Prelude. And in this, he included some information about his ice skating adventures. So we know that William and Dorothy did lots of ice skating that winter and future winters while they lived at Dove Cottage. And William was such a good skater, he could write his name in the ice with his ice skates. And he's got 
a very long name, William Wordsworth. So the reason we know so much about William and Dorothy is that William didn't just write letters. He wrote lots and lots of poems about nature, about things that he saw and about ordinary people. And his sister Dorothy, she wrote a diary or a journal about all the activities that they got up to as a couple. So she was scribbling away about all the things that they did and that is how we know so much about William and Dorothy. And I thought we might sing a little song about their activities and then I'm going to read you a little bit of one of the many poems. So I thought we would sing Here We Go Around the Mulberry Bush on a cold and frosty morning because it's winter and it's cold and frosty and I've even bought a little bit of frost Ooh, with me here and a little bit of oh, some snowballs. Oh, so cold, so cold. So I hope you've got your singing voices ready. I'll start you off. Here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush on a cold and frosty morning. Now we're going to dig the snow to clear the path. Okay, so this is the way we dig the snow, dig the snow, dig the snow. This is the way we dig the snow on a cold and frosty morning. <laughs> okay, now William and Dorothy were really good at looking after wild things and observing nature like insects and flowers and they would have definitely wanted to feed the birds so next thing we're going to do is feed the birds this is the way you feed the birds feed the birds feed the birds this is the way you feed the birds on a cold and frosty morning <laughs> and lastly something else you might like to do in winter is to stay inside and stay warm and we know that molly helped them stay warm by starting up those fires before arrived at the cottage. So this is the way we light the fire, light the fire, light the fire. This is the way we light the fire on a cold and frosty morning. <laughs> now have you got your listening ears ready? Ready to listen to a little bit of one of William's poems about ice skating because we know how much he loved to do that. This is how the poem goes from his enormous poem about ice life. And in the frosty season, when the sun was set and visible for many a mile, the cottage windows blazed through the twilight gloom. I heeded not their summons. Happy time it was indeed for all of us. For me, it was a time of rapture. Clear and loud, the village clock told can we make the village clock toll six? Ding, 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 ding. I wheeled about, proud and exulting, like an untired horse that cares not for his home. All shod with steel, we hiss along the polished ice in games. So they had a lot of fun ice skating. And while William and Dorothy lived at the cottage, William got married to a lady called Mary and three of their five children were born while they lived at the cottage. And we know that they would go off ice skating as a family and with some of their good friends. Thank you for listening to that. Okay, time to do a bit more singing, I think. The next song we're going to sing is about something else that William and Dorothy really loved doing. They loved walking. They would walk for miles and miles. They think nothing of walking 20 miles in a day up and down big mountains like Hell Helen or Skiddle or whatever they, their wonderful country is called. So the next song we sing goes like this. Crunch, crunch, crunch your boots. Up the hill we run. Slidey, 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 slidey. Don't fall on your bum. Can we do that again? Crunch, crunch. Crunch your boots, up the hill we run. Slidey, 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 don't fall on your bum. Okay, you can practice that one at home. Ready for another one? Now, in the winter, you might have noticed that the nights are very long and the days are quite short. So the next song is all about that. And it goes like this. Let's sing a winter song. Let's sing a winter song. The nights are short, the days are long, let's sing a winter song. The winter wind is cold, 
the winter wind is cold, it freezes ears and nose and toes, the winter wind is cold. Shall we sing that one together? Let's sing a winter song, let's sing a winter song, the nights are short, the days are long, let's sing a winter song. The winter wind is cold, the winter wind is cold, it freezes ears and nose and toes. The winter wind is cold. Well done everyone, thank you for joining in with me. Okay, we've got time for one more song and this is one I'm sure you will know. It's also about night time because when we have those long winter nights, we often see the moon. You might even be lucky enough if it's very clear to see a moon bow, it's like a rainbow around the moon and we'll see the twinkle twinkle stars. So. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is a song that was written as a poem in the Georgian era when William and Dorothy were living in the cottage. Ready? Twinkle Stars. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are thank you okay i hope you enjoyed that singing and did listen to the story it's time for us to have a little look in our rucksack of rhymes now let's see what we've got so we've met william we've met dorothy We've heard a little bit about their house, the cottage, but who have they brought with them today? Well, they've brought Mr Robin, because it's winter and we often see robins hopping about in the countryside or a park or our garden in the winter. And this one sings a beautiful song. Can you see me do 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 do? There we go. We might, if we're very lucky around here, around Grasmere, we might see a red squirrel. We have them hopping about. They're much smaller than the grey ones. We have them often eating hazelnuts just on the, the trees above Dove Cottage so we keep our eyes peeled for them even in the winter. We've got some frost. Oh, 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 oh. Chilly, chilly, chilly. We've got some frost and snow on our rucksack of rhymes. We've got these snowballs oh, 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 all in our rucksack. Let's see what else we've got inside. Let's meet some more of our regular friends that we might see. We've got, oh, one of my favourites, Samantha, the Swaledale sheep. Bah, bah. You might know a song all about the sheep that you could sing in the winter. Hello, let's say hello to Samantha. Hello. Let's meet a couple of other people from our, from our bag, or not people, animals. We've got a lovely blackbird in there. Oh, hello, lovely blackbird. Another animal we might see hopping around in our garden. We've got a chaffinch too. Something else that me and my girls saw the other day hopping around in the park was a rabbit. They're still around in the winter. Not the baby ones, but all the grown up rabbits around so keep your eyes peeled for them and last of all we probably will get some of this this winter some rain because we get lots and lots of rain in Cumbridgeshire now if you're lucky enough to be getting some frosty and cold weather at the minute you might have had some snow and I've got an idea of something you could make if it's very cold you might want to make an ice sculpture where you get an old cup or an old yogurt tub or something and you go out and you collect some twigs and some nicely coloured berries and things like that and you put them in your tub and then you either put your tub in your freezer at home or you leave it outside on a very cold night with a bit of string poking out the top and then you get a beautiful decoration that you can hang on a tree or a bush all made of ice and natural things and you can just leave it outside because when it melts it's all just full of natural things that will go back into the soil and become compost and they're good for all the worms 
and it's the other natural things that we see that have impact on our skin and don't we love writing about. The other thing you might want to make if you want to stay cosy and warm inside like William and Dorothy did with their fire that Molly had helped put together for them, you might like to make a snow person and I had fun making these the other day with my little girls. So all you need is two circles of paper and a little scarf and a hat and some crayons or some pencils and you might want to make um, a more fancy one. You might want to put clothes on your snow person, you might want to use a lolly stick or you might want to go out into the, into the natural world, into a woodland or into a garden and find a stick to put together. So I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet, a little shortened version of our winter rucksack of rhymes and I really hope that you'll be able to join us for some more of our rucksack of rhymes or some of our other activities for families very soon. So thank you and maybe see you at Wordsworth Grasmere sometime soon. Bye. Bye. Let's say bye to William. Bye children. And to Dorothy. Bye bye children. And enjoy the rest of winter. Bye bye. Thank you so much for joining us.